Now in the last 100 years, the human population has absolutely exploded. It's what we call exponential growth, and it has had a huge impact on the environment. The effects are now being experienced right across the world. There is a shortage of food in some countries, more land is being used for building and farming, and there is more pollution being produced, and the world's resources are running out. This is just not sustainable. Now in this video, we're gonna look at how the growing human population has caused an increase in many forms of pollution. And we're gonna look at how this pollution affects the environment and the organisms that live in it. Now global warming is one of the biggest issues currently facing the planet. It's being caused by the greenhouse effect. Now what that means, the greenhouse effect, is that when the sun releases shortwave radiation down to earth, that radiation is, some of it is absorbed, but a lot of it is reflected off the surface of the Earth. Now, a lot of it leaves the atmosphere. It escapes back into space. But the rest is absorbed and trapped by the greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. And this heats up the Earth. Now, we need to trap some heat. Otherwise, the Earth would be an ice ball. So, there needs to be some gases in our atmosphere that trap heat. However, the problem is that human activity has increased the quantity of these greenhouse gases in our atmosphere drastically, and it's now trapping way too much heat, and the planet is getting way too hot. Now, these greenhouse gases are things like water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, and CFCs. So let's go through these greenhouse gases in a bit more detail. So CO2, carbon dioxide, now humans have massively increased the level of CO2 in the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels in factories, power stations, houses, and vehicles. All of these have released CO2 and our CO2 levels are now much, much higher. Methane, there is a lot more cattle on the planet to feed the growing population and they all produce methane as a waste product of digestion. Methane is also released from the decay in landfill, which is increasing because of all the waste and also the increase in rice production actually causes loads more methane due to the bacteria that live there. CFCs, now these are man-made chemicals that used to be found in aerosols and fridges and they're mostly banned now due to them destroying the ozone layer, uh, which ends up letting more UV light in, but they are still being sometimes released from places like landfill. Nitrous oxide, car fumes contained nitrous oxides although catalytic converters reduce this. However, the use of fertilizers increases nitrous oxide because the nitrates are converted to nitrous oxide by denitrifying bacteria. Water vapor, now human activity hasn't really influenced the level of water vapor in the atmosphere, so although it's a greenhouse gas, we can't really blame humans for uh, any kind of uh, effect on that particular greenhouse gas. Now, if the planet keeps warming up, there's gonna be some serious effects. It would change the nature of many of our organisms, potentially causing species to become completely extinct. Polar ice caps would melt and sea levels would rise. You get a major change in ocean currents uh, and you get a big change in global weather patterns. 